Well, hey guys, uh, Jared Ellsworth here and wanted to share another devotional with you. And uh, today I just want to share, basically it's just a prayer that uh, comes from this book that I've recently gotten into uh, called Every Moment Holy. It's just a book full of prayers, nothing but prayers. Um, because honestly, I, I don't pray uh, as well as I should or as often as I should. And so I've been trying to find different ways to kind of help jumpstart my prayer life, um, how, to, how to pray better, how to pray, how to stretch myself in, in different ways in praying. And so, um, you know, this book is really interesting because it, it's got a prayer for everything, a prayer for changing a dirty diaper, a prayer during morning coffee. Um, and, and so the, the one I want to pray, pray with you guys this morning uh, is... is um, a prayer for first waking, that, that the first thing in the morning before you do anything else. And so it, it's really beautiful that the language and it's, it's challenging also the way it words things like, ah, yes, I would not have prayed this myself, but, but now that I see this, I'm making it my prayer. And so uh, let, let me, let's just pray this together. And it's just a good prayer of surrender of, you know what, this is the beginning of the day. This is how I'm going to start my day. I'm going to start it for God. And so, so let, let's pray together. I am not the captain of my own destiny, nor even of this new day. And so I renounce anew all claim to my own life and desires. I am only yours, O Lord. Lead me by your mercies through these hours, that I might spend them well, not in harried pursuit of my own agendas, but rather in good service to you. Teach me to shepherd the small duties of this day with great love, tending faithfully those tasks you place within my care, and tending with patience and kindness the needs and hearts of those people you place within my reach. Nothing is too hard for you, Lord Jesus. I deposit now all confidence in you that whatever these waking hours bring, my foundations will not be shaken. At day's end, I will lay me down again to sleep, knowing that my best hope is well kept in you. In all things, your grace will sustain me. Bid me follow, and I will follow. Amen. Isn't that a beautiful prayer? I mean, that just that sets the tone for the rest of the day. And so I've been praying this uh, probably the last three or four days in a row. And uh, it, it's a beautiful prayer, and it really just guides my heart to Jesus and, and helps me focus on the things that matter each day. And, uh, and, and it also has, has helped me kind of see the meaning and even the little things in, in, in the day. And so um, I, I hope this means something to you, and maybe we can join together and be praying the, this prayer in the next couple of days. Uh, but have, have a blessed day, and hope you're doing well.